Hello, Paul Hamilton here. This is our walkthrough of Adobe Aero in the Google's Immersive Geospatial Challenge. So you can see here it's geolocated in regard to the anchor to that Mooloola Bar um, area. And let's take a closer look at some of the behaviors and objects and what we've done here. So if I just orbit around, you can see here that I've got that initial um, AR viewer and we've got some different elements. So why don't we take a look at those? Um, you can see here I've got an occluder, uh, a mask object, which is actually a CD player. But as you're looking through, you can only see um, the digital whales and the artistic whales at the back or through the, the kind of looking glass um, concept that I've built down there. If you look at the other side, you can see that the whales are there, but I've just got a, actually a CD player here um, that was a good size for my occluder here. So if we look at that, I've basically just gone to object and use that as a mask. If I turn it off, you can see it's my CD, um, CD ROM. Um, and then we can have a look at some of the other elements that we've got. So let's take a look at some of the behaviors down here. Um, we've got when the scene starts, obviously, we've got the animations of the whales um, to make sure that we've got a little move and we've also got a inbuilt um, uh, animation in there on the whales itself as well, which is pretty cool. Then we've got when we start the project there, um, you can see that I've got a little bounce on the menu ball just to draw attention to the eye to say that that's there for a reason and to really build on that curiosity of the user to say, I'm going to tap on this and interact with it, which is pretty cool. And then we've got our first little menu button that pops up here. That's actually a, an animated GIF with a removed background. I've tried to be clever with the popping up out of the top of it so that it makes use of depth in regard to 2D images and animations. So we've got all those hidden. So all those menu systems are hidden. And what we've got is a beautiful, um, if I zoom out a little bit here, when we've got a tap behavior on the ball itself, you'll see that they actually come up one at a time in a beautiful kind of sequential fade in kind of aspect. So you can see here, when I tap, it's actually going to bring in left to right each of those menu items. And so the behavior you can see there, the behavior is just a simple hide on, on begin or on start of the project. And then a tap on the ball will reveal those. And I've got a nice kind of fade in, fade out on each of those. You can see there it goes for about two seconds each and it's nice and sequential. And the concept behind that is not to fill up you're seen with kind of pollution or visual pollution, but let the user explore um, those different concepts. So um, we've also got a little play. So on the learn more about the whales, we've got an audio recording built in that's got spatial audio that will go from left to right, depending on where the user actually is. We've also got an open URL tap behavior there for the feedback form, which is a really important way of collecting data from the users themselves as they go through when you looked at the demo. So a range of different behaviors, um, a really simple concept, but I think really well executed in the location that it's placed. And I'm super excited for you to view this and see what you think about um, our geo immersive geospace um, challenge submission. Paul Hamilton here for UTB.